Hey there. Night door here, Bob. Oh. Oh, let's see. Oh, that helps. Before bed, wanted to wish you one last happy International Pipe Smoking Day. Uh, I have, I, I've had my share of pipes today. Uh, uh, let's see, two bowls from my calabash. Um, three bowls of uh, from the same Dr. Graybo. I guess I'm just abusing the heck out of that Dr. Graybo. <laughs> but uh, darn it all, it was giving me such a good smoke. And every time I reached for a, reached for a pipe today, I wanted to smoke that one. <laughs> So that's uh, five pipes, and this will make number six for International Pipe Smoking Day. If you recall from my first uh, eBay Yabo video where I opened six boxes at once, this is the Alpha Bamboo Shank. Okay, uh, sort of a bent billiard. Uh, could even possibly call it a Dublin, possibly. It comes from roughly the 1960s. Uh, for those of you who don't remember, Alpha is, uh, well, it's now defunct, out of business, uh, Israeli pipe maker. I've got another one of their pipes at home. I think they smoke excellent. Um, and this is a beautiful, beautiful pipe. I just, I just love this pipe. Uh, <clears throat> and you'll notice, you'll remember the first batch of box openings. I had uh, uh, several really old uh, K. Woody's, uh, you know, KBB's, and even a Barling. And I was going to smoke them in the truck, and then I got to thinking, are you nuts? What's wrong with you? <laughs> the only pipes I have in my truck, my work pipes, are my cobs, and I love my cobs. I do love the cobs. Uh, there's something very special about cobs for me, and, uh, I just, I just love the way they taste, I love the way they feel in your hand, um, you know, and I do think, you know, uh, only my most expensive pipes even come, you know, to me, come close to smoking as well as the cobs, but I, I take good care of my cobs, I treat them like a, you know, like a briar, with a good briar, with the exception of I don't allow cake to build up, um, most people treat a cob like crap, and they get a crappy smoke, and they're wondering, and they're like, "Oh well, cobs are a crappy pipe; they have crappy smokes." Well, you treat a cob like crap, you get a crappy smoke. If you treat it like, treat a cob like a Dunhill, and you'll have a magnificent smoke. I guarantee it. Um, so anyway, the pipes I keep in my truck are my cobs. Uh, because, well, let's face it, if you break one, they're easy to replace. Rusticated pipes, because the rustication hides the scratches. I think I've been through all this before. <laughs> and I got some, you know, beat up Dr. Gray bows that I don't care if they get scratched. Now, this is a very, very pretty pipe. Uh, but I did specifically buy it to be a work pipe. Uh, but I'm going to make extra special care that it doesn't get scratched up. I'm 
not going to smoke it as I drive. I'll only smoke it in the evenings, uh, and I'll leave it in its uh, protective sock all day long. And uh, as soon as I'm done smoking it, I'll put it back in the sock. Uh, so hopefully it won't be getting scratched up and it will stay a nice looking pipe. Uh, like I said, you won't see me smoking this as I drive because at some point, you know, we've got to put the pipe down, you know, on the passenger seat pipe rack and uh, it'll bounce around and get nicked up from the other pipes and the candy that I keep there, <laughs> you know, and a couple of ballpoint pens that I have there. <laughs> um, and a jar of uh, Sid Halipa, which is a sort of a Sri Lankan version of Bengay that Ishi sends me for my neck and my back. That stuff's magnificent. It really works. So, long story short, not too late, right? <laughs> uh, yes, I will smoke this in my truck, uh, but I'll take extra special care of it. And uh, so this will be my sixth this is my sixth pipe of today. And I am smoking some Count Chocula. A little bit mild for me, you know. I like the, the strong aromatics but it's nice it's pleasant okay I can enjoy a pleasant smoke even if it doesn't taste like I'm smoking a Hershey bar which is really what I'm aiming for when I smoke a chocolate <laughs> you know very pleasant smoke uh, more or less what I expected from a briar that's, you know, 50 plus years old. And it was cleaned out really good by the eBay seller. So I have to break it, get it properly broke in again. And when that happens, it'll smoke even better. And it's smoking very well right now. So... I hope you, oh, I've had a rough day today. Maybe that's why I smoke so many pipes. Um, I felt like I've uh, gone uh, uh, two out of three rounds wrestling my the, the tandems on my truck today, on my trailer. I uh, had a first customer, picked up my load, and I had to, you know, I knew it was a heavy load. Uh, it was uh, uh, Kingsford uh, uh, charcoal briquettes, you know, for for like barbecue grills. And uh, uh, so I went to the nearest truck stop to get weighed, and I, I was seventeen hundred pounds over on my tan on my back back two axles, the tandems. So, it's easy to fix. You just move it a few holes. Oh, trailers this company has are, I mean, it's, they have some trailers that are like 10 years old and unfortunately uh, I don't think they ever throw away a trailer, no matter how ratty it gets. And, uh, unfortunately, the one I had was 10 years old today. And, uh, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I felt, I felt like it took me, I'm not joking, uh, 50, 55 minutes of banging on that thing with a two-pound sledgehammer and yanking on the lever and hold, hold, you know, applying vice grips to it to hold it in place and then banging on the pins, you know, 55 minutes in the cold of doing that. Uh, 
I was worn out. And then what you know, when I delivered the customer, when I delivered it, the customer says, okay, uh, go to loading dock, uh, go to loading dock four, uh, you know, slide your tandems back and then back in the dock. And it's like, uh. so I had to slide them, slide them back. And that was luckily not quite as long. That took 25 minutes. So all together, I spent about 125 minutes, 120 minutes today, wrestling, fighting with my tandems. Oops, let it go out. Too much talk. Plus it's a moist tobacco. I don't really dry out my tobaccos too much, except for my English. I like to keep the aromatics at the moisture level that come uh, from the company, but uh, the English, I'll, I'll dry out. I'll dry out real, you know, I'll, I'll load up a pipe. What I'll do is, I don't uh, set it out on like a plate or something. What I do is I'll load it up in a pipe and let it sit overnight, and then I'll smoke it the next day. So I prefer my aromatics moist <laughs> and my English dry. And with the exception of half and half, I don't get any tongue bite. And smoking half and half in uh, uh, my calabash, there's no tongue bite there either. Uh, can't say enough good things about calabash. Everybody should have a calabash. They are that good. They are super. Wow. And everybody, everybody should pick up at least one pipe off of eBay that, one briar pipe that's at least 50 or 60 years old. Uh, smoke magnificent and really really wow I'm very pleased with this <laughs> so happy pipe smoking day guys um, till next time may all your roads be smooth chicken house is closed may your pipe never run empty isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? That's all mine. Yeah. <laughs> all right. God bless. Have a good night.